Okay, fun fact about me, I like snakes. Now I'm not saying like if I'm out on a run and I see a snake, I'm gonna pick it up. But when the aquarium comes in, I always love it when they bring the snakes. Miss Ashley Curbs is here with me. Uh, hey, Ashley, it has been a long time since we've had you here and you brought Mushu with you today. Yes, so this is Mushu. She is a Borneo short-tailed blood python. Ooh. And she's one that we take out to schools. She's okay. pretty comfortable traveling. We take her into second grade classrooms and she's what we call an ambassador animal, which means she's a representative of her species. So we take them into classrooms and teach kids all about snakes in general, and they get to learn a little bit about Mushu herself as an individual. She's, she's an interesting looking snake. Yeah. Tell me a little bit. So the first one discovered was red, and that's how they got the name blood python. Okay. But then they started to realize that they're not all red, so they're starting to move into calling them more along the short tail python. Okay. Because her tail starts wow. right here. Wow, Just look at a that. Just a little tiny tail. Yeah, she is, I mean, and she's not that long compared to some of the other snakes you guys have. No, correct. So she's more of a ground snake. They don't have that uh, tail to help them to grab and climb in the trees. So she'll live at the bottom of a rainforest. And we'll bring out different snakes to compare with the kids and show off the big thick snakes like this and then the little tree snakes too. Wow. So, Mushu, yeah. how'd you give her the name? <laughs> uh, they're from Southeast Asia. Okay. We have a Mushu and a Mulan at the aquarium. Cute. So yeah, kind of fun. And you know, the aquarium is really known for making people connect with wildlife. Yeah. And so we came up with a new program called Virtual Encounters, uh -huh. where right now there's a lot of social distancing. You don't get to see the animals up close, but if you book a Zoom meeting with us, you'll really get to see some up close pictures with our animals. You can ask us questions. We do live and we do fun. recorded. If you want a one minute happy anniversary, mom and dad, or up to an hour presentation, more along the lines of you know a spring break activity or just fun. something to do for a kid's birthday. And we were just seeing pictures of the plaza. Tell me about it. Yeah, I'm excited because it's starting to warm up a little bit. Mm -hmm. The plaza is going to start opening more and more. And there's a lot to do out there just by itself. But right. then starting in April, we're going to have our Nights Under Lights events okay. where you can come out, kind of have a picnic on the plaza. There'll be food trucks, there'll be music. And then we have our eco kind of light up and go along with the music so you can kind of enjoy a little night show. And um, if people are looking at this going, where in the world did they get that? Tell them <laughs> the story. <laughs> yeah, so that's the old uh, U2 360 stage uh, that they were just getting rid of it. And we said, well, instead of throwing it away, you know, we'll recycle it, bring it to us, yeah. and we'll use it on our plaza. So cool. I mean, if you, I feel like it's like the claw or something, you know, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, so it, it, we used to call it the claw, and now we've kind of changed it into eco. So give it a little kind of a fun yeah. personality almost. Well, you're easy to find when you're driving down I-15 between yes. the shark on the building and that. It's kind of hard to miss you guys. That's the point. Yep. So starting in April, you said nights, uh, nights under lights. Yes. Did I say that right? Lights yes. under. Nights yeah. under lights. <laughs> I couldn't remember if I said it right or not. So we've got that coming up. And then you guys have some fun movie nights too. Yeah, we're going to have some movies. You can come out mm -hmm. kind of the same along the lines of Nights Under Lights. You can picnic, okay. lay out under the stars, and we'll play some movies for you. Cool. Okay, as far as COVID and how things are going, if people want to come in person and maybe not do the virtual encounters, mm -hmm. how does it work? Yep, you still go to our website, thelivingplanet.com, and you can make a reservation for the time mm -hmm. slot that you want to come. Okay. And we're open every day of the week, Sunday through Sunday. Fantastic. And you know what? You guys are doing well, though, despite everything with COVID. I know that you've got a lot of animals to take care of, so it's been quite the year for you. We do, yeah. We've been hanging in there. Our members are great. You know, people Good. are still coming and supporting us, so we really Good. appreciate that. Well, and it's great that, you know, the kids still have a place to go and enjoy and learn and all of that fun stuff. So, Ashley, good to see you. Fun to have you in studio, too. It's been too long. And thanks yeah. for being Mushu. Thanks I, for I inviting us. I don't think us. I've ever met Mushu. No, this is I, her first time coming out here. Okay, very cool. Well, I learned a lot of new things. <laughs> thanks so much for being here.